thank our pastor, Pastor C, for this opportunity to stand before this sacred desk and break the bread of life. I won't be before you long, but God has given me a word, and we pray that this word will bless somebody's soul this morning. Amen, amen. If you have your swords with you this morning, if you can turn, open your Bibles up to Jeremiah 31. Jeremiah 31. It's just one verse this morning. It's going to be Jeremiah 31 and 3. 31 and 3. And it reads, The Lord hath appeared of old unto me, saying, Ye, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn thee. Have I drawn thee. Amen, amen, amen. So this morning, for a little while, we're going to preach from the subject, Falling in Love with Jesus. Falling in love with Jesus. Falling in love with Jesus. Somebody said it was the best thing I've ever done. Well, I got the witnesses out there this morning. Lord, have mercy. And you may not understand it if you haven't got there yet, but I promise you one thing for sure. This mystery is real. This Jesus thing is real. It's real. Falling in love with Jesus. When we fall in love, we want to spend time with the person of our affection and, and willingly give our attention to the relationship, to the relationship when we really fall in love. Falling in love with Jesus should be no different, but believers often hurry through the Bible readings and prayers. That's something we do these days. Everything is moving so fast. We got to be careful. Sometimes I say, you know what? We got to slow the world down just a little bit. The microwave came to play and we started heating up food and after that, everything took off like a, like a jet. But sometimes we got to slow down. We're reading Bibles fast. We're doing fast prayers. But look what the Lord he says. The result is superficial faith. It keep alive by habit rather than worship. Rather than worship. Sometimes you got to get in that closet, get in your space, and just sit there for a while. Not only pray for a while, but after you finish praying, stay there for a little while and see what the Lord has to say to you. Because he want to speak to you. He wants to speak to you. To attain lasting intimacy with must approach God with a sense of purpose and determination the bible says that when we we as christians are the bride of christ the bible says we are the bride of christ jesus being the bridegroom watch this we are married to jesus see when you get connected to him and you give your life to him you have just become married to jesus and watch this, and watch this. I know some of us men are having a little difficulty imagining our, watch this, imagining ourselves as brides. It's a little, it gets a little tough sometimes. Brother, let's be real. Somebody's like, oh, man, oh, what? Because watch this, watch this. The first thing we think of when we think about a, 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 a wedding, and we start thinking about the wedding dress, the veil, even the lace. That's what we think about. But nevertheless, every Christian is a bride of Christ. Even us males. He loves us just like he loved us. We are a bride of Christ. You see, there are similarities in our marriage with our spouse and our marriage to Jesus. One of the first points is courtship. It's courtship. I courted my wife several years before I married her. And she courted me. While I was courting her, it was my intent to draw her to be what? To be my bride. To be my bride. I wasn't trying to waste time no more. I was calling for her to be my bride. To be my bride. I learned her faults. She learned my faults. We got to know each other pretty well. As the bride of Christ, Jesus keep drawing us to him. John 6, says, No man can come to me except the Father which has sent me draw him. Draw him. Jesus know all our faults. He knows everything about us everything about us he knows all our faults but his love for us was so intense that he kept drawing us to himself lord have mercy do you know what what is what it's like for someone to fall head over heels in love with you come on somebody they got to go back and think back to that day now go back and think back to that day lord boy when you saw that sparkle lit up in your eyes and you didn't know how woo, you was like good god there's something about that attraction Head over heels in love. Head over heels in love. That's what Jesus did. You see, Raynette just, she just put up with me. She just put up with me. It took a while for me to wear her down. I persisted until I had to marry, she had to marry me. I didn't give up, y'all. I kept right on going at her. I kept right on going at her until she ended up saying, I do. 
and she married me. While I was in love with her, I was not going to give up until she became my bride. Good God from Zion. First John 4, 10 says, here it is. It's love not that we love God, but that he loved us. See, God loved us the same way. It's the same way. You caught God, you got you to give him your all. You got to give him your heart. You got to love on him a little bit. Somebody said, Jesus is love. He is love. He is love. He is love. Lord, Jesus loved us so much that he couldn't think of spending eternity without us. He couldn't think about spending eternity without us. Whenever Jesus courted you, watch this, he knew all about you and loved you anyhow. See, I think that's the, that's the trick of the enemy right there. When we're going through things in life, we're going through things, and we might be struggling with a little addiction here and there. There's different things that come in our lives. And the devil wants us to make things that Jesus won't have nothing to do with us right now. He don't even love us. Why? Because every night when I go home, I got to turn it up. Or oh, every day when I hang out, there's some drug that's got. But Jesus still loves you right where you are. He still loves you right where you are. He still loves you. He loves you anyhow. He knew that you weren't worthy of being his bride when you was going through. He knew that you didn't deserve him. He knew that you were spiritually dead and full of sin. And that your righteousness was a filthy rags unto him. Unto filthy. But watch this. But Jesus loved you so much that he was willing to suffer and die just for you. There's no a greater love than that love right there. That's love. That is love. Proverbs 10 and 12 said, love and endures all sins. Endures all sins. I think some of us, we got to go back. We got to go back. We got to fall in love with him all over again. All over again. You remember the day when you gave your life to him and you gave your life to him? I'll never forget when I got saved. I woke up the next morning when I looked outside, the trees looked different. The wind sound different. The wind blew different. I said, see, see, something happened to me and I don't understand it, but his name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. Falling in love with Jesus was the best thing I've ever done. I've ever done. I've ever done. But Jesus loved us so much, y'all. He suffered and died for us. Oh, my, 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 my. It's time somebody could born to fall in love with Jesus. Call all over in love with Jesus again. Take it back. Take it back. Take it back. What happens, we get so used to coming to church on Sunday mornings. We get so used to going to Bible study on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. And that thing can become tradition. But don't let it come tradition. Love on Jesus, and he'll love you back. You got to live for him. You got to give it all to him, and he'll give it back to you. Oh, some of us, we've been through some tough situations, some divorces that we don't understand. But Jesus said, I still love you. I still love you. Falling in love with Jesus was the best thing we can ever do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We love Jesus. Woo, we love him. Watch this. And we got to be fully committed. We have to be fully committed. To his love, to his love, you will do anything, mind, body, and soul is fully committed to Jesus. Don't let the enemy trick you. There's not one perfect being that walked this earth, and it was only one. His name was Jesus. So ever think that you ain't going to fall, you're not going to, that's just a trick of the enemy. God says, I know your heart. Because he's going to keep drawing on you. He's keep going drawing on you. He's going to keep on drawing on you. You might fall and go this way. You might go to the left. You might go to the right. But Jesus is going to keep on drawing on you. He's going to keep on drawing on you. And sooner or later, you're going to fall on your face and cry out to Jesus and say, Lord, here I am. I surrender all, Lord. I'm ready now to fall in love with you all over again. All over again, Jesus. I'm falling in love with you all over again all over again. I remember, see, we didn't pull up our own self by our bootstraps, y'all. We didn't pick our own self up when we was falling down in the world of sin. We didn't heal our own body. That cancer didn't leave because of osmosis. It was because of Jesus. It was because of Jesus that healed our bodies. It was because of Jesus that set us free. It's the same Jesus yesterday, today, and forevermore. He's going to do it. He's going to do it for you. He's going to do it for you. All you got to do is just believe. It's just believe. Can't nobody do it for you. You got to believe it for yourself. If you're standing in need with something, Lord have mercy. God said, just believe and ask me for it, and I'm going to give it to you. Oh, my, 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 my mom and daddy can pray on, but if you don't believe, you won't receive it. Oh, my, 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 my. So God is saying this morning, fall in love.
up with Jesus all over again because he loves you for just for who you are. Just for who you are. Lord, have mercy. The Bible said it's a mystery to some. That means they don't understand it. But when that thing open up to you and he get down on the inside, oh, that fire start burning on the inside. Something happens to you. Sooner or later you start running, ain't nobody chasing you. Sooner or later you start clapping your hands because it sounds so good to you. Lord, have mercy. You love your enemy that you couldn't stand a long time before. Good God Almighty. Your supervisor get on your last nerve. Now you will pray for him. Now you will pray for him. That's what God will do for you. That's what falling in love with Jesus will do for you all over again. All over again. God has set some of us free, y'all. He set some of us free and we done fell back to some old ways. God is saying this morning, fall in love with me all over again. Come back to where we once was. I'm still here. I'm left you. I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Even until the end of the earth. I'm going to be here when you look to the left. I'm going to be here when you go to the right. I'm going to be here when you fall down because I'm going to pick you up. I'm not going to leave you. I'm not going to leave you. I'm not going to leave you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. When I say I, I want everybody after the word I say your name. And this is what the Lord wants us to do this morning. But after I say I, say your name and say it loudly. I take you, Jesus, to be my bridegroom, to have you and to hold you from this day forth, for the bottom and for the worst, for the better and for worse, for richer and for poor, in sickness and in health, and to love to cherish us from this day forth until death. Do us part, Jesus. I'm going to love you. I'm going to love you, Lord. I'm going to love on you, Jesus. Oh, I'm going to love on you this morning. Oh, that's what he want from us. We got to say our vows to Jesus, y'all. We got to say our vows to Jesus. Some of us have said our vows two and three times and it ain't work. But Jesus said, come to me now. Come to me now. And I promise you, if you give it to me, I'm going to make it work the next time. I promise you I will. I promise you I will. We got to be fully committed to Jesus. This is the day that the Lord hath made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. We can't turn around now. We can't turn around now. Young people, I'm coming to tell you something. Young ladies, don't you let that young man thank you that you can have a baby without being married. It happens. It's okay. We've done it for years. It's still going to happen. Not condemning nobody because Jesus said I'm still right there with you. But I'm telling you right now, it don't have to be. Don't let it be. They're singing a song in y'all ears now. That song ain't singing the right song. They want to do that and keep on moving to the next one. God is saying, no, cherish yourself. Cherish yourself. Cherish yourself. Keep yourself for your husband. Your husband want to be with you. There's something special about you. And God's saying to you this morning, cherish yourself. Cherish yourself. Cherish yourself. It's not the way that God designed it. He didn't design it that way. But here's the deal. We can't get in our 50s and forget about what happened when we was in our 18s and 19s and 20s. So we got to pray for our young people. We got to pray for our young people. I have a difficult time with people that talk about them young men out there with their pants hanging off, but they ain't doing nothing to help them. I can't have time to talk. I need solutions now. I need somebody praying for them. I need somebody talking to them. I need somebody being a mentor and mentoring our young men, our young women, letting them know it's going to be all right. They can't get caught up. See, one thing I'll tell you about the young generation I really love about them. I really love this about the young people. They ain't caught up in color. They ain't caught up in political agendas. They ain't caught up in none of that stuff. They just real. And they'll tell you just like it is. Whether you like it or not, they're going to tell you just how they feel. How many of them we grew up, we hid everything. Didn't want to tell our children this. Didn't even want to tell someone who their daddy was. It happened back in the days. Kids started to find out their daddies when they was in their 20s. Bad situation. Let them know right now. But let them know their real daddy name is Jesus. Fall in love with him all over again. Fall in love with him all over again. He want to marry you again. He want to marry you again. Somebody says, it's a backslider. Backslider means I stepped away from Jesus. But watch this. When you run back to Jesus, you run back. Somebody said, I'm sliding back to Jesus. That means when I slide, you can't stop me. I'm going all the way in. It's time now to get to know who he is again. To get to know his. Don't let this world dictate your relationship with Jesus. It's off. It's, it's way off track, y'all. It's way off track. It's way off track. There's somebody up on Pennsylvania Avenue. Every day you turn on, he's saying something different. He talks out both sides. 
both sides. I mean, the front, back, everywhere. He just, whatever come on, he just said, don't get caught up in the hype. Jesus is the reason. He is the reason. God still has this whole world in his hand, and he have it in control. And then believe what I tell you this. Watch this and believe this. If you stay in close with Jesus, I don't care what you go after. He's going to bless you. Even during the midst when it seems like the president don't like you, you still won't get what you deserve because Jesus is going to be right there for you. He's going to move people in positions that didn't have degrees. He's going to move people in positions, and they're going to look at him and say, how did you get there? And get, watch this. And all he wants you to say, it was Jesus. He just wants the glory. Just give him the glory back. That's all he wants is the glory back. You give him the glory back because he's going to love on you. He's going to love on you. The devil is busy. The devil is busy. They're attacking our young children. They're attacking our young children. I fell on my face when I heard those three little girls in Clinton. I fell on my face and I started praying to the Lord right in my office. I said, you got to be kidding me. The devil is busy. God's saying, now is the time to fall in love with Jesus all over again. We got to do it, y'all. We have to do it so we can straighten this world out. See, the world depends on us, the Christians. He said, the prayers of the righteous avail of much. We can pray our way through this situation. We can shout our way through this situation. We got to give it to Jesus. We have to give it to Jesus. God, he's the only, he is the only way, the truth and the light. Oh, it was only him that saved our souls. It was only him that picked us up. And what he's saying to us today is don't forget who did it for you. But tell somebody else about the goodness of Jesus. You're going to be tested. You're going to be in certain rooms when there are going to be a lot of people in there. And they're going to have all kinds of agendas. And you know what? The devil going to speak to your mind. Don't say the name Jesus. They're not, they're not here for that. They don't want to hear that. But let me tell you something. Those that speak his name in a situation when it looks like it's not supposed to be said, this world is waiting on us. They're waiting on us to get in situations and say the name Jesus. Why? They're hurting so bad. They're hurting so bad. And when you come in there, not only when you say the name Jesus, they're going to turn around and look at you and say, can you pray for us? Can you pray for us? This world needs a revival. It needs to be revived. And we are the ones that can do it. Fall in love with Jesus all over again. Fall in love with Jesus all over again. And watch this. The wedding vow said till death do us part. But the good thing about Jesus, even death can't separate us from the love of Jesus Christ. When we leave this place, we go on the glory. We go on the glory and be with him for eternal life. And we say, thank you, Lord. We love you so much, Lord. We love you so much. Fall in love with Jesus all over again. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. There's nobody like him, Lord. Mm. Woo, Jesus. Oh, Lord. Huh. There's nobody like him. There's nobody like him. Mm. There's nobody like him. There's nobody like him. Some of us, we didn't try a little bit of everything. But Jesus saying today, try me. Try me. Just give me a chance and watch what I do for your life. Give me a chance. Even if you don't believe right now, I challenge you to say, Lord, here I am. I may not understand it. I can't even figure it out. But Lord, here I am. I've been tried this. I've been tried that. But now, God, I want to try Jesus. If that's you this morning, and you feel like you need to fall in love with Jesus all over again, and there's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes we get to a place we can be saved, born again, fire baptized, you put all the names you want on it. We still fall back every now and then. But he said, if that's you this morning, and it should be just about everybody, and we need to come to the altar this morning and tell him, God, I'm ready to fall in love with you all over again.